Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice, and welcome to our daily reading. Hope you're doing well. Let's see what's going on for my subscribers at the time you find this video, what you need to know for your highest good, what the day might be about for you. Check out your weekly reading if you haven't already, as well as your monthlies. They're linked in the description box below for you. Let's see what's going on for my subscribers at the time you watch this video. Oracle energy and advice. So I saw the card of light. We'll see if it comes back out. So something could be coming to light. Some truth could be revealed or something could be uncovered. It could also just be an energy of success, joy, and optimism. Oracle energy and advice for the day. My subscribers. Okay. <clears throat> So let's see what we have. The first card representing the influence of the past on our current situation. What has happened before or what is happening as you're coming into the reading? We have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Queen of Pentacles talks about our long-term goals. Um, it's a very nurturing energy. It's a very hardworking energy as well. Um, this is, you know, someone who knows her worth. This is male or female energy. It doesn't matter, right? It's someone who knows her worth. Someone who... I hear won't compromise her worth. Um, it's an energy of receiving after hard work. So let's see. In today's energy, we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords can be a contract. It can be terms, conditions, negotiations, signing paperwork uh, for something to do with work, to do with assets, property, real estate, to do with your business, to do with your source of income. Um, to do with your health potentially and lifestyle um, or long-term goals in terms of relationships, right? But it's some sort of signing on the dotted line. Now, whether that is to enter a commitment in a partnership or a contract or to exit it, it will be different for everyone um, because for some of you, it is coming across as a very factual conversation with action being taken, all right, with the King of Swords. Um, and we'll see what else is coming in afterwards. Where are things are headed? Well, we do have the Ten of Cups. So either way, whatever the situation is, if it's uh, making something official and entering a partnership or signing a contract, whatever, or even if it's a difficult conversation or a very truthful, honest conversation, the outcome, the end result, is happiness and joy and fulfillment and feeling seen and heard and appreciated. Okay, um, this could be, for some of you, it is, the King of Swords can be a doctor, okay, some sort of specialist or physician or expert in their field. It could be a fertility matter here with the Ten of Cups and you reaching your goal there with their help. Um, it could be just a health matter in general. Now, I'm not a professional, a healthcare professional, but I'm seeing it in the cards, I'm telling you about it. Um, where this is someone helping you find the solution, this is someone helping you find the diagnosis or the treatment or whatever it is, and then there's a sense of contentment, like finally we're on the right track, finally we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, finally this is going to go away, right? A lot of healing here. Um, for others of you, this is to do with getting the home, and that's going to be your family home or your new family home. Um, this could be marriage licenses being signed or granted, approved, received at this time. This could be a contract to do with job, career, advancement, uh, your business, anything to do with your finances um, that leads to a happily ever after type of energy. It's very nice energy. Oh, look, and in the Oracle, we have message. So communication, messages, phone calls, emails, paperwork. Okay, with this King of Swords. For some of you, it's just that confirmation that this is approved, okay? If you're not then having to sign anything, you might have done that all prior to submitting something. I don't know, but this is the approval. This is the green light. This is the, yes, you got it. Yes, it's happening. Um, so, yeah, I think we're in for some good news today. 
And it's to do with something that you've worked hard for, you've saved for, um, you've invested a lot of your energy into, you've nurtured for a long time. It'll be different for everyone what this is. And you just, you're just going to have to take it as it makes sense to you if you feel that it does make sense to you. Um, yeah, it's just some great news. You're going to have to tell me what it is because, like I say, it'll be different for everyone. And it's like short, sweet, to the point type of message, very much like the King of Swords. Um, so, yeah, some great news here. So let's see. Yeah, something official, something finalized, something approved, whatever it is. Legal wins could be happening. Yeah, it's just great news. So let's do your fortune cookie pick a card. This is where you pick one number between um, one and three. You can pick one, two numbers, or you can set the intention that you could receive messages from all these cards. And then these can be quite specific, quite literal. So just take the messages as they make sense to you. You're going to have to um, interpret them for yourself, okay, in this section. So let's see. Pick a card for my subscribers. I have one, two, and three. At the bottom, we have property. A property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. So this could be tying in to the reading since it's at the bottom of the deck. And the King of Swords can talk about, you know, looking at security, where the, whether that means uh, putting up a fence, changing locks, or it's background checks, or it's just looking deeper into something to double check the facts, reviewing, making sure everything's spelled correctly, that kind of thing. So let's see. If you chose number one, we have love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems. But take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Okay. If you chose number two, we have declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings or reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. And if you chose number three... Communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Just, honestly, I don't think we've had such a to-the-point reading for a while. <laughs> um, but that's that's all I got. That's all the messages I got, right? Some sort of great news is coming in. A very A message that will make you very happy. All right, so... Share with us when you get it. Let us know what this is about for you. I hope this helps you. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.